Do what must be done. Do not hesitate. Shouldn't have Hello there, this is Darth Melvin, leader of the Knights of Melvin. Wikipedia is at the center of some major drama today in the Star Wars fandom, and this is far better than any Wokalite coverage out there. Recently, Wikipedia got into it with Star Wars Theory. Someone was very upset about the Kiati Mundi age change on the website, and they told one of the moderators on Wikipedia that they hope their pets die. Jordan Wilson of Wikipedia, the admin, decided to take those unhinged comments, probably from a unhinged Filoni fan, and up the game to death threats. Wikipedia is now receiving death threats, everyone, getting all emotional and posting it all over social media. And then you get SJWs like Pete Fletcher, who have hate boners for Star Wars Theory, calling him out, and then Wikipedia, which is Jordan Wilson, replied, it's telling that we didn't get any threats until immediately after he told his followers to fix Wikipedia. The ones that came to vandalize the site from that are the ones we got threats from. Oh my god. Oh, I hope Wikipedia is okay. Now again, these comments were unhinged, but to say that they're death threats and to make a big deal about it and then call out Star Wars Theory for sending these people after them, saying that he instigated the threats, well, Star Wars Theory didn't like that very much and threatened to get the Theory legal team on their ass. Do not like that defamation. You are quite a big presence. You're not a little shrimp fry on Twitter with a couple followers. If you continue, I will file a lawsuit against you. I'm telling you right now. Wikipedia dropped their SJW case against Star Wars Theory, but there was repercussions from this because internally they were blaming Jordan Wilson. And on July 1st, 2024, Jordan tweeted, After much discussion and consideration, I resign from the Wikipedia social media team. I love and appreciate all of you, and it's been a pleasure working with you. May the force be with you. And you can see in the hidden replies, I replied, Man, you are one pathetic loser, and I was blocked. And this takes us up to yesterday. I noticed that Pete Fletcher from around the galaxy was unfollowed by Wikipedia, and he was big mad about it. Star Wars social media is a mess. The unofficial keeper of knowledge is going on an unfollowing spree. Last week, a popular YouTuber was put on blast for a misconstrued tweet. The fandom menace is getting louder, and we are attacking ourselves. I hope you all see how dumb this is. And he goes on even more to talk about how triggered he is by being unfollowed. The fandom has never been more divided, and Wook official decides, you know what would be a good idea? Let's unfollow almost everyone. Sorry, but it's a bad look at Get Fandom real bad. Well, you know it's a bad look is recently Pete Fletcher was exposed for criticizing a woman who wanted to take maternity leave, as well as trolling the Resistance broadcast and a whole bunch of other shit that will be covered in a future video. I've dealt with people who get offended when I've unfollowed them, which is really strange to me. So I don't care about Wikipedia unfollowing me. It's just the perception and destruction of the goodwill they've created at a time when social media and Star Wars fandom kind of sucks. So multiple tweets from Pete Fletcher being really upset about the unfollowing, and there were others who were unfollowed by Wikipedia. Getting unfollowed by Wikipedia after their sweet, SM admin resigned. Biggest stake in my heart. I too was unfollowed by Wikipedia. I have no idea who these people are. Unfollowed by Wikipedia, I might end it all. I'm not sure why at Wook Official is going on an unfollowing spree, but after showing support to them in a time when they needed it most, this is extremely disappointing. This person I do know, Sawyerism 2023 Chill of the Year, 
This move is far more sinister than anyone currently realizes. Absolutely shameful of the team at Wikipedia, who the entire community came to support in droves just a couple weeks ago. And let's be absolutely clear, Jordan Wilson helped us raise $3,000, not this new management. Brooke, her podcast partner, disappointing how the engagement and sense of community from at Wook Official disappeared overnight once their socials became under new management. Unfollowing members of the community, including me, who just partnered with them for a Pride fundraiser event that raised over $3,000. It's funny how Sawyerism and Brooke are complaining about being unfollowed by Wikipedia, but if you take a look at Wikipedia's follows, they are still following the failing Yapsesh podcast. I guess they just figured that Sawyerism and Brooke are not important people and just didn't really realize they were a part of this podcast. And But it, it doesn't matter that they're still following this podcast. Sawyerism uh, wants the death of Wikipedia. Sawyerism tweets out, If you are interested in putting together a new Star Wars wiki that is truly fan-curated, democratic, and a welcoming place for fans, let me know. I'm interested in putting this together. I think it could turn into something truly great. Now, the real reason she's mad is because her personal account was unfollowed. She's a narcissist, she thinks she's amazing, and she's not. Wikipedia determined that today. Another reason she's mad, and a lot of other SJWs are mad, is because Jordan Wilson was fired by Wikipedia and was forced to step down. And we have to ask ourselves, was this a legitimate firing? Jordan has put out a long thread of tweets stating his case and his unfair firing from Wikipedia. Wikipedia has also put out a statement that you can't reply to, and we are going to read both of them and come to the conclusion who is in the right here. Jordan Wilson. I was not going to make a statement, but for my own mental health, I need to say this. Please read this thread fully before commenting or sharing. I'll start by saying I did not step down from Wikipedia by choice. I stepped down because I felt I had no other choice. <laughs> Last Sunday, I got a ping asking if I was at work and when I might be available for a social media team meeting. I replied by informing them of the approximate time I would be home. When I went on my lunch break, I found myself locked out of the social media accounts and for several hours, nobody would tell me anything. Oh. When I got home at 10 p.m., I was given an ultimatum. I had 12 hours to step down from the social media team or they would put it to a public vote with evidence of my supposed misconduct, evidence which was not even shown to me. Oh. Until more than 12 hours after this, completely stripping me of any fair chance of explaining my side or defending myself against the allegations of that moment. It was simply resign or we'll put the weight of Wikipedia against you. I had no idea what was going to be said. Oh. Or if it was even true, which was a scary situation to be in. My time limit was later extended to the following night after I begged for more time to process this, as the thought of losing a community that meant so much to me triggered a massive anxiety attack for me. Once I was finally given the chance to review the evidence, I was devastated to see it was set up in a way that made me look very bad in the court of public opinion. Oh my god, they had evidence against me, and I was having an anxiety attack. <laughs> I want to take this opportunity now to share my side on some of what was was presented. Number one, claims that I bailed on interviews with creators and constantly rescheduled. I will fully acknowledge that there were instances where I had to reschedule due to last minute shift changes at work, which I unfortunately did not have control over. Rescheduling was never an ideal situation, and I will own up to that. But my real life job needs to be a priority, as that's what puts a roof over my head. As a manager at my work, I'm obligated to go in if someone calls out, but I've 
always tried my best to work around that and coordinate times. <laughs> and then my anxiety attacks. Oh, oh, that prevents me from doing the interviews too. That are convenient for both myself and the interviewee. Everyone I rescheduled with was always very understanding about it and perfectly fine working around it. Number two, that I used the Twitter account to try and connect another wiki with a publisher. Anyone who knows me knows that I always tried to help other wiki sites who didn't have the connections we did. I think working with and supporting other wikis is a good thing and it was only ever my intention to help. But in hindsight, I understand how it could come across to use one wiki's Twitter reputation for something that is not directly related to that wiki. Oh. <laughs> that I shared the personal information of other editors by tweeting happy birthday tweets to them. Last year, the social media team collectively decided to stop doing these based on how much attention it drew to individuals. While the original intent was to celebrate our community and spread positivity, I actually agreed with this decision because in practice, I did not want users to be in a position where all eyes were on them without their permission. <laughs> Number four, that I had shared the screenshot of the death threat without consent. I completely own this one. When it was brought up to me that the person who received the threat did not want it up, I deleted it immediately and apologized, and I thought we were on okay terms. I was in the wrong, despite positive intentions and wanting to show what Wikipedia community members were being forced to deal with. People and their well-being come first first, which is something I've always thought was important to remember on social media. So this is something I'm committed to learning from and ensuring I never put someone in this position again. <laughs> Number five, that I was spamming creators with messages. It was only ever my intention to engage in fun conversations with people active on Twitter, so I never viewed this as spam even. If I sent a few messages before getting a reply, but if anyone saw this this way, I am sorry. That was not the intention, but I understand and apologize to anyone who may have felt that way. So to avoid being dragged through the mud, I stepped down. After that, I said I was going to take some time away from the Discord server to process all this and asked that a big announcement not be made. Being part of the social media team was a significant part of my life. So for my own mental health, I wanted to process this in my own time and just fade away. This was not respect. And an announcement was posted in the Discord shortly after. Oh man, and then my anxiety after that. Oh, only my further request was this later removed. I begged them to remove it. I, I begged them to remove it. My anxiety. A few days later, I received a demand that I immediately delete the site's YouTube channel so it could be remade under a Wikipedia email, as one of my emails was linked to it. The email couldn't be switched, so I understand why this request was made. It was also demanded that I hand over the logins for Hive and blue sky neither of which i had i had my dms turned off wanting to keep to myself so it took me a bit to see this when i did check my dms and saw it i deleted the youtube as requested while i can understand the social media team wanting to organize their accounts i felt there was no regard for my <laughs> health and no regard for the mental breakdown I was undergoing as a result of all of this. Oh, my anxiety. And they didn't even care. This past Friday, after keeping to myself and hoping to move on, I woke up to find they had started a public vote to remove me as an admin on the site fully, and that I was getting dragged hard by people. The evidence was again set up in that way. 
to make me look extremely malicious. I was set up, I tell you. I set up. It was a sting. Like I was only in this for my own personal clout. And then I did not care about the site at all. Nothing could be further from the truth. I love this place, and despite everything, I still do. I was going to leave quietly because I did not want things to blow up, and I did not want to see people get targeted, so I stepped down as an admin as well to avoid more pain. I requested the vote be closed as I had stepped down and quit the site. I was told in no uncertain terms that the vote but would remain up for the full two week period so the community could have their say. In essence, I would be subjected to being dragged through the mud for two weeks just so people could attack me despite there being nothing left to vote for after I had already resigned. I already resigned and they were still doing the vote. Oh! <laughs> I went to fandom staff for support, and they were able to get the vote closed. At this point, I had left. I did not plan on returning and was wholly planning to just go away quietly and focus on my mental health. My mental health, everyone. No matter what I did, I am going through extreme issues with my mental health. So, I can't be blamed for anything. Oh. A few more days passed, and this past Monday, I woke up to find out that I had been permanently blocked from Wikipedia <laughs> for acting against the image and interests of Wikipedia. This was after I had intentionally avoided speaking publicly about any of this, aside from a light-hearted tweet that I had stepped down and that I would miss everyone. All the while, I continued to be dragged in the Discord server at every turn. I wanted to go quietly and avoid being dragged through the mud at every turn. It was publicly escalated anyway. I do want to acknowledge that there were concerns that I had shared some posts from a private channel. I never posted anything publicly, but I do admit to sharing these messages with both my partner and some friends privately because I needed advice, my mental health. I needed some support as I could not process it alone. I did not post these things in public, nor do I have any intention of doing so. I just shared them with people because of my mental health. The people who helped me process all this can attest to how devastated I was and how close I was to an actual complete mental so break down! Ah! I'll be honest, that entire first day of this is something of a blur to me. I remember bits and pieces of it, but some chunks are just gone. <laughs> I was going insane! <laughs> I did not react well on that first day, and to those caught up in that, I'm sorry, as it reflect on choices I've made. I think it's worth asking, wouldn't you privately turn to friends for help if you felt you were being treated unfairly? <laughs> oh. I did not expect a conversation with friends about how deeply this was affecting me to then be leaked by another user whom I trusted. In the 14 years I've worked on Wikipedia, I've always tried to keep the best interests of the site at heart. Have I made mistakes along the way? Absolutely. You'd be hard pressed to find any users who haven't, but my last week has consisted entirely of daily mental breakdowns, anxiety attacks, and grappling with the fact that none of the people I've worked with for over a decade have even bothered checking to see if I was okay, and who now believe I'm some sort of monster, Blah! akin to the dictators we've had on the site in the past. The bigots, the bigots, I've 
fully acknowledge the mistakes I've made, and I'm truly determined to learn from those mistakes, but I don't feel that those mistakes warranted me being treated as less than human, being cast aside, and having my contributions invalidated so quickly, especially when it once took a fandom's intervention to remove admins who've done much worse. <laughs> At the time, I reacted poorly to that intervention, but I was determined to learn and grow from my reaction and made the commitment to help Wikipedia grow from that as well. So it's disheartening to see some of the same old arguments about bureaucracy and procedure being used now to explain the site's behavior toward me. So I'll end this with something simple. I'm sorry. I'm sorry to anyone hurt by me. That was never my intention. I love you all. And all I've ever wanted to do is support and uplift people. If I ever went a little too far with that, I own that. Nobody's perfect. But my commitment to myself is to take time now to reflect on what's happened. This is my story. So as part of that reflection, putting this message out now was important to me. I encourage you to read the evidence that was presented against me and make your own decisions about it. And if you have questions, I'm happy to speak about it for those I've had years of positive interaction with, either on the site or on the social media accounts. Just know that I've truly enjoyed getting to know you and sharing a love of Star Wars with you. I know some of you are being unfollowed right now, but from the bottom of my heart, just know that it doesn't erase all the fun times we've had together. I treasure that and I'm excited to continue that work in my new role as a grant writer at the Peter Mayhew Foundation. I don't expect my Wikipedia block appeal to be accepted, and if that's the case, that's okay. I've avoided sharing screenshots or names here because despite everything, I don't want people to be harassed. I don't want people to be bullied. Whether on Wook, Twitter, or my own personal accounts, that's always been something I've wanted to impart. That's not what Star Wars is about, and that's not what I'm about. <laughs> and in closing, my mental health is the reason why any of these accusations are existing in the first place. <laughs> Wow, absolutely unhinged. Unhinged. That thread in the force was unhinged. Jordan Wilson put this out before Wikipedia could make a statement. And he comes up with, I believe, five points. And basically just admits to wrongdoing. Point number one, claims that I bailed on interviews with creators. Well, he definitely did, so that's a valid point. Two, that I used the Twitter account to try and connect other wiki with a publisher. Anyone who knows me knows that I try to help with other wiki sites, so he's guilty of that. He admits it. Three, that I shared the personal information of other editors by tweeting happy birthday tweets to them. This is something that's really stupid, but when you deal with SJWs, everything can be criticized. You can be canceled for anything, and he is guilty of this as well. Four, that I had shared the screenshot of the death threat without consent, and I completely own this one. So he admits to that, and this is one of the main reasons he was fired. And you know what? It was probably building up. And this was the last straw. Five, that I was spamming creators with messages. It was only ever my intention to engage fun conversations. Now, I don't know if this is true, but if you go back to the Star Wars Theory comment, it's like, why is he commenting on this? He is engaging with the fans, which it's good to have engagement, but engagement like this to push your SJW narratives, that goes against policies that Wikipedia has. 
and we are going to get to Wikipedia's statement, which, again, you cannot comment on. Wikipedia administration statement on the recent events of July 2024. To all our fans and followers, below is our statement regarding recent events involving the social media team and administration at Wikipedia. We are aware that there are statements out there from other parties involved, and we disagree with their interpretation of the events. So you just saw Jordan's unhinged thread basically saying he didn't do anything wrong and blaming his mental health, and you have all these SJWs in defense of Jordan when we just went over all the points, he's guilty of all of it. So let's see what Wikipedia has to say because they think that it is not being interpreted correctly. Wikipedia's Twitter and Instagram both have unfollowed a large number of accounts. Well, uh, why did they? This took place upon realizing that our accounts were following individuals and organizations that were unrelated to Wikipedia's mission as a fan-run encyclopedia, or in some cases, were even outright problematic as far as being followed by our accounts goes, such as accounts related to real-world politicians, unrelated businesses and actors, and accounts publishing mature content. So a, a lot of uh, shipping accounts, uh, those are out the window. A lot of these shills use Twitter as Pornhub. Those were out. Ultimately, in the hopes of avoiding any bias, non-Lucasfilm creator accounts were also simply unfollowed in mass, with these unfollows not being targeted toward any specific individuals or organizations. What does that mean? Non-Lucasfilm creator accounts? So they have a list of shills that are official Disney shills of Lucasfilm, and they're only following those accounts? Is that what they're saying? The claim circulating on social media that Wikipedia is going corporate has no factual basis. And as I said earlier, they were following over a thousand accounts, now they're down to a little over 700, so they really only purged the insignificant loser accounts. Wikipedia's Twitter account has left unreplied the barrage of expletive-filled direct messages from the PMF's account following the incident. Instead, we opted for peace and did not engage. On Wikipedia, positions of authority such as social media team membership or the position of administrator are considered a privilege, not a right. Any user can put forward a request for removal of user rights so that the site's community can review the presented evidence and judge for themselves. The social media team acknowledges that too short a time frame was given for Supreme Emperor, our former administrator and SMT member, to optionally resign from the position before a vote for his removal from the SMT would be issued. The standardization of procedure for such situations is currently being worked on. However, Offering users the opportunity to resign from Wikipedia positions of authority is in fact not required by any site policy and is instead simply a courtesy compared to opening a vote without notice. The choice to resign from the social media team was ultimately Supreme Emperor's. He also had the right to instead contest either removal in public and attempt to effectively denounce the evidence. Following the vote for removal of his administrator position being posted, Supreme Emperor also reserved the right to not resign and defend himself if the evidence provided was in fact falsified or misconstrued. He instead opted to resign. Well, he resigned because he knew he was guilty and decided playing the victim was the best route to go. Regarding claims made by Supreme Emperor, he stated on his Twitter account that he had requested that a big announcement not be made about his resignation from the SMT. He further stated that the announcement posted on our Discord server about this was later removed by further request. This is inaccurate and the still live announcement can be found here. Visible members of the server is a three-sentence announcement stating, Hello fellow Wikipedians, as of July 2nd, 2024, Supreme Emperor has stepped down from the Wikipedia social media team. Wikipedia's social media accounts will continue being a positive presence in the Star Wars community 
going forward, made solely as a heads up for any Wikipedians engaging with the social media accounts, and it does not reference at all the reason for Supreme Emperor stepping down or negatively refer to him in any way. Furthermore, this announcement was only made following Supreme Emperor's own public statement and did not present any information he did not already make available. Supreme Emperor later admitted to wrongdoing. The release of a death threat without the consent of the targeted individual causing extensive mental trauma to said person as the incident was continuously instigated was one of the main incidents spurring several administrators' loss of trust in him as a social media manager. In his threat, Supreme Emperor failed to address other points of his misconduct, however, such as breaches of our bot flag, talk page, and discord policies, evidence for which is publicly available in on-site logs and free for anyone to review to judge for themselves, after asking Supreme Emperor to resign from the social media team, the administration was nevertheless committed to rebuilding the damaged trust in him. However, in statements made both before and in his resignation statement, Supreme Emperor unfortunately repeatedly and explicitly lied to his fellow administrators and acted offended that we would insinuate he was being dishonest. These incidents are documented in the evidence presented in the above mentioned vote for removal of administratorship. The vote was spirit precisely due to this continued refusal to admit the truth when confronted with a simple yes or no question. The administration often handles sensitive user conflict issues that require confidentiality. If Supreme Emperor was willing to lie, then administrators and other users would be hard pressed to trust him with other issues. Wikipedia currently has no standing guidelines for whether authority position removal votes should be closed early following the relevant individual's resignation from the position. A removal vote had in fact not taken place since 2008. This is being worked on for potential future instances. After Supreme Emperor's resignation from administratorship and prior to the removal vote's early closure, the administration did not intend to keep the vote open for the full two weeks as stipulated by the consensus policy. Instead, consensus among the administrators was to leave it open for 24 hours to allow for the possibility of Supreme Emperor changing his mind about his resignation and to not exclude users from different time zones from expressing their voice on a site-wide issue. Wikipedia's administration initially fully intended to not comment on the aforementioned issues out of respect for Supreme Emperor's wish for our official accounts to not publicize the situation. As part of this, the website official social media accounts did not take any negative statements about him. As mentioned above, the only short announcement about his departure from the SMT was issued on our Discord server. However, after the offsite escalation and misrepresentation of the situation by outside parties, we opted to issue this clarifying statement. We do not condone bullying in any way, shape, or form and have no intent to further the ongoing drama and will be offering no further comments on it. Wikipedia further requests that our former administrator be left in peace to pursue future opportunities outside of our community. So what I got from that is it was very direct and they're stating policies, they're even showing links to receipts and pretty much just kind of stating the facts where Jordan's thread was completely unhinged, emotional, trying to get people on his side, and Wikipedia has been forced to defend their position. And the big reveal that comes from this is Jordan didn't have to resign. He resigned on his own, and he did so because he knew the evidence was overwhelming and just wanted to get out and play the victim. And you got all these people who are big mad about the situation and really they're just mad that they were unfollowed by Wikipedia. One of the few accounts that they unfollowed. About 300 loser accounts were unfollowed 
after reading this, it makes sense that they wanted to purge their social media a little bit. They saw some of these accounts that use Twitter as Pornhub, and they're still following 700 accounts. So anyone who's mad about it is just being a crybaby. And the support for Jordan, these are the same people that don't respect law and order in this country. They will side with Jordan, who checks all the right boxes, an emotional little bitch who was completely wrong, completely guilty. They will unconditionally support him, and they will cancel anyone they feel wronged them. What's happening in the Star Wars fandom lately is amazing. The fake fans are eating each other, and I'm all for it. I hope they continue to eat each other. Wikipedia can go fuck themselves. All the people crying about being unfollowed by Wikipedia, they can go fuck themselves. I'm just going to be sitting here with my popcorn and enjoying the show. Let me know in the comments what you think about Wikipedia and the drama with their former admin. Make sure to become a knight, subscribe to the channel, join the Knights of Melvin Discord, help plot to take down Disney and all their shills. At last we will reveal ourselves to the shills. At last we will have revenge. is a pathway to many abilities some consider to be unnatural.